pig egg. My preparation has been in full swing for a while now. I haven't had to look further than my own yard to see evidence of that. Right here, my own yard, I've seen an inordinate amount of ornithological action this year. I mean, I've, we've had warblers, like Nashville. We've had chestnut sided warblers, magnolia warblers. We even had a black or a blue warbler who hung around for about a week. There was a male red start transitioning into his adult plumage. There's even a bay breasted warbler. Although, it wasn't the impressive adult male plumage. There's been some of the obvious but interesting visitors like rose breasted grosbeaks and Baltimore Orioles and red eyed vireos. And you know, if you think, if you think all that's impressive, well, let's take for a moment to consider. Ross is living at the tip tip of long point. It pretty much makes that his yard. So I think we should go ahead and give Ross a call and um, see what sort of things he's getting in his yard. Hey Ross, how's it going? What was that? He cut out. Since the call with Ross cut out, I'm going to fake it and show you some pics he sent me via email. Hey Ross, how's it going down there? Yeah, so I was wondering what sorts of things you're seeing in uh, what, for uh, lack of a better word, we could call your yard. He's had a thonetary warbler, yellow breasted chat, Nelson's sharp tailed sparrow. Okay, so those are all better than the settings I mentioned in my yard. Thanks, Ross. So I guess Ross has me beat. I haven't seen any of those rarities that he's had come through there. Certainly aren't come through my yard. So I'm gonna have to get out there and I have to see him. Because right now I'm actually very much behind. I'm at 195. On the eBird listings, I've fallen to somewhere in the 20s on the Ontario list. So uh, hopefully, sometime soon, I should be uh, breaking through 200. I should, I should be past that by now. Next time.